ocean bottle. <laughs> Can you believe I made money by urinating in a bottle and calling it potion of youth? <laughs> oh, I had to stop though, when I got chased out of town by the shop owner.
waiting. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Thank the Divines for you. I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Well, at least you're smart enough to want to learn more. I'll show you what I can. Serene needs help with her project to improve our crossbows. And if that doesn't interest you, speak with Gunma. He has something for you. Speak with Gunma. He has something for you. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. I knew it would come to this one day. Only what I've heard. Back in the second era, the Jarl of Riften had a son. Adventurous type. Too much for his own good, it seems. Wound up turning into a vampire. The Jarl, unable to kill his own son, spent a fortune building this keep and hiring men to guard it. 
Their job was to keep the Jarl's son contained within. They took it seriously, and served honorably. They were eventually forced to put him down. The Jarl banished them from the hold, but they stuck to their cause. Fought vampires wherever they found them. I aim to continue that mission. Stay alert. Be on your guard at all times. Avoid sleep if you can. Sleep. Oh, what is it? Is for the weak. What can I do for you? Ah, hello there. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, and it saying, would be hypocritical of me to say anything. Children, a dread lord will rise in an age of strife. When dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the yes. other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is... 
I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Yes? What did you need? If you're looking for a room, you want the four shields. 